Okay, welcome back to this video. Today's video, we are back on Pixel Beast. Now, for those who don't know what Pixel Beast is, this is a new Roblox One Piece game, and what makes it unique is the fact that this game is completely pixelated. I recorded around two or three videos on this game, and the only reason why I'm recording another one is because, as I'm sure you guys can see in the title, this game is finally releasing. This is a game that a lot of y'all have been waiting for. A lot of people are even saying this is going to be the most anticipated One Piece game of this year. I'm not entirely sure, purely because the game isn't really too different from other One Piece games aside from it being pixelated, but that might be enough to carry it honestly pixel beast being the first game to release in 2023 is going to be really important because it's going to show our games this year going to be the same as last year where they drop and die or are we finally going to get some anime games that drop and then actually do good for a decent amount of time with that being said today's video we're going to be trying out the new pvp mode i haven't actually tried it yet but alpha x told me it was good hopefully y'all enjoy if you're new to the channel i would appreciate if you hit that sub button let's get straight into the video okay pixel piece i guess we have an actual menu now this is pretty cool i can actually move around even though there's not much here i'm pretty sure i already customized my character so i guess i'll go straight to play okay join world join hub world sail the ocean and face your bosses together with your allies and hub enter a lobby to battle players or trade your items okay okay so i just got the fall fall fruit i'm not exactly sure when you guys are seeing this it could be before i record my gameplay or not but i'll do a quick showcase if you have the fall fall fruit you actually get the paws on your hands which is really cool she pixelated too like they could have been lazy and just did a regular model but they chose to make it pixelated and i love that so that's very very cool First move is Paul Shock, looks like this. I'll actually go use it on an enemy over here. I'm not sure if this is ranged, which is why I'm gonna get a little close, but here it is. Charge it up, and it actually doesn't get bigger, but it does smack them with a giant ball. X move is Paul Stamp, looks like this. God damn, okay, that one's really big. I'll show the first move again one more time. Third is Paul Shock, I think this is actually ranged after all. Oh my god, it is kind of range, but not like it is. It doesn't actually shoot, I don't think, but it does go pretty far. Here's a C move, Paul Multi Shocks. It's just like a little barrage. That's pretty cool. So here's Ursus Shock. Looks like this. God damn, okay. Huge. And I'm pretty sure this gets smaller and smaller the more damage it does. So I just keep on holding this and then it just killed everything. Okay, then that was pretty good, I'm assuming. Here's the fifth move, I believe. Shock Step. Okay, just a pretty fast teleport. All right, I'll use that one more time. That actually doesn't have bad range. That could be very useful in PvP. And the sixth move, a shock red, looks like this. Well, this is this is it. Oh, oh, it traps them. Sick. That's very cool. I wonder if I can damage with shock step or like switch places. You can't switch places. That would have been very cool though. And then here is shock time skip. I'm not sure how shock time skip works. That, that's weird. What? Maybe I gotta use shock red first. And then time skip use maybe shock step and then time skip how does that work i'm so confused does shock time skip just not work okay i mean all right i guess i'll showcase other moves off one more time oh he says it's in depth okay so move just not finished but here's shock paul shock one more time Let's see how much range this move actually has not bad paul stamp okay multi shocks only two damage but that's still not bad at all ursus shock you can also just throw that out if you want you don't even have to charge it shock step let's see the max range on this not bad at all i'm actually you know let's see what the max max range is i'm just gonna put my mouse over here let's try to go like over there uh, not terrible that's like two houses that's not bad and yeah that's fall fall fruit see y'all in a bit okay pixel piece i actually just woke up this is literally the next day when i'm recording this but we're here and this game is actually releasing today so i guess i'll play like i'm a new player so when you spawn in you come over here i i guess this is the spawning area i'm only level one i'm assuming this guy's the ship seller spawn your boat yep okay you sell ships all right so i actually don't know too much seeing as i didn't actually level up myself but what i do know is you need to come in here and talk to one of these npcs there's a question mark right there and also real quick for anyone new to the game if you see like a parrot like this this is how you set your spawn if you talk to him he says call but that's how you set your spawn so i'm pretty sure my spawn set here already which is why i can't talk to him but yeah anyway let's see what this embassy is talking about leave me alone god damn okay <laughs> What about you, Asuna? Hello, my name is Asuna. Welcome to the world of Pixel Beast. Do you want to go through the tutorial? Sure, let's do it. I've already done this tutorial, but I'm going to do it just for y'all's sake so y'all know what you're doing. Hello, player. Here you will learn the basic commands and a little bit about the user interface. Okay. Controls, ship lock. I, I'm going to just skip. Ooh, wait a second. How Shoku, Kenbun Shoku, and Buso? I didn't even know those were in the game. Okay. Hopefully, we can use those later on in the video. Very good. Now, let's get to know the user interface, the UI. Okay. Level, experience, stamina, health, money, and compass. All right. The compass is interesting. I'm not sure many One Piece games do that. Inventory, status, every level up you get three points, store, settings, party, and crew. Okay. Simple enough. Congratulations. You learned enough for now. Have a good game player. When you need to, come back here. 
all right yeah okay we're out uh, i'm not exactly sure what i should be doing considering i can't use any commands to give myself del fruits or else i'd show party all but i guess i'll go around the island real quick oh wait a second they changed the movement i'll see that when you move left and right there's different animations now it's actually really cool y'all see that camera work yo i gotta say this is actually a very very unique take on a one piece game man the fact that everything is pixelated is kind of crazy i won't lie honestly before i do anything else i really want to hear y'all's opinions do you guys think this game is going to survive because it is a new type of one piece game i mean it is completely pixelated but is that enough to save it because a lot of one piece games end up just dropping and dying so i don't know i'm hoping this isn't the same but i don't want to get my hopes up just yet anyway though we have an npc around here oh they actually changed this entire area this wasn't here before okay are you like a boss npc hey there can you help me eliminate these bandits roaming our once peaceful island sure i'll do this quest once only four bandits okay that's not terrible like these real quick you have air combos i'm pretty sure it does i just don't know how to do them probably should have read the damn tutorial i don't know why i did it with y'all just to not read it bro i do that in every single game i swear okay that's one mastery level two really wish i could just use commands to get myself del fruits but they're not working so i'm gonna have to do that later on actually you know what real quick i want to take a look at the game passes because this is really gonna make or break this game for me okay actually not terrible we only have one two three four five six that's it no no seven seven game passes that's not bad at all most one piece games you have a million different game passes i'll throw some examples on the screen real quick because as y'all can see normally there is yoru 2000 gems blah 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 a million del fruits but this actually isn't bad repeat quest um okay i guess it's just for farming smoke cycle i will actually buy oh never mind 1600 i mean i could buy it but i'm not gonna do that or actually you know what screw it i'm just gonna get the smoke cycle i really hate wasting robux i i just don't like doing it at all but <sighs> Whatever, it is what it is. I'm just gonna buy it. Don't get me wrong though, y'all. I do understand that every single game has to make their money somehow. Like I have no issue with game passes. People gotta make their bread, you know? So I'm not really too mad at that. But still, it's not cheap. Anyways, though, the smoke cycle is a really, really good weapon in this game, y'all. So I, if you're gonna play Pixel Beast, I do suggest getting it. Purely because this thing, if I can get to some, actually rides on the water. And when you're in the water, it goes really fast. Like, I'm pretty sure this is the fastest mounting game. Unless this is faster. How much does this cost? Oh, this is only a 1,000. Oh, wait, no. Uh, 20% off. Okay, but this is still cheaper. That's still cheaper than this. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the fastest mount in the game. It's really good for getting around. I might actually give away a few of these to y'all. I'm, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and finish this quest real quick. Then hopefully I can show off some Del Fruits. I also gotta say, whoever did the models and effects for this game, I think that they deserve the most props out of anybody. Because... Being able to make a game fully pixelated, I don't know, I just feel like that's not easy, especially if you have to animate it as well, so I guess props to the animator as well, especially for like the Phoenix Room, man, the Phoenix Room in this game is beautiful. Okay, that's the end of that quest, I'm actually gonna go ahead and wait until I can use the commands, then I'll just do the Del Fruit Showcase before you guys see this, so if this video was edited properly, you guys should have already seen the Del Fruit Showcase at this point. But yeah, I have to say, Pixel Piece, I cannot wait for this game to release, I'm really excited to see how well it does, I'm hoping that it does do well, but like I said, hopefully you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that sub button, and I'll see you on the next one, later. God.